Paul sent him to me to ask for, or he asked him to come and see me uh, to get some names of businessmen who could perhaps go on the Commonwealth Bank board. So I gave Bernie a bunch of names and at the end of it I said, I could be interested myself, Bernie. And that was that, nothing more was said. And I don't know, time and a half went by and I was with my son in um, somewhere up the coast uh, at a Christmas time and he came out and said, there's a, somebody on the phone that says Paul Keating wants to talk to you. And I said, oh, I mean, uh, did, is there any indication of what, what, what he wants? And he said, no, no, no. So I went in and I picked up the phone and he said, good day, mate. How'd you like to be chairman of the <laughs> Commonwealth Bank? <laughs> you better delete that word. <laughs> 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 but, and that's exactly what he said. And when I recovered, I said, well, no, <laughs> it sounds pretty nice, but I'd have to, you know, <laughs> I'd have to, I'd have to sort of gear up a bit, wouldn't I? <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway, he subsequently said to me, you know, you've got the balance. You've worked in the public sector, you've worked in the private sector. You've got exactly the kind of skills I think the chairman of the bank should have. So we became good working friends um, and he was the man who saw the problem that was emerging in Victoria um, and the Victorian State Bank had a um, uh, merchant bank that was out of control uh, and he said to me in a, one of the chats where we, we the, the, we're going to have to bail them out. So why don't we privatise the Commonwealth Bank and buy the State Bank of Victoria? Uh, this was the grand plan. Um, and that's really how that move started. Now, I give Paul the credit for that. He, he could see the way to go and, and he he took on an amazingly difficult task for him and his and his party. I mean, the Commonwealth Bank was a kind of a treasure, really, and to, to privatise that, my God, you know. Um, so he had to persuade them, and he did over a time. Uh, in the meantime, I was getting calls from people like John Kane, a former premier, about you know you you you, you can't do this to the bank, you can't uh, all that stuff and. Um, but when Joan Kerner came in, she knew they had to do something and she was in agreement with the idea of selling the state banks, uh, the, the, the state bank of Victoria. Um, and so it was, I suppose, hawked about a bit. Um, Westpac was very keen. Uh, and in fact, at one time, as the numbers went, they were offering more than we were. Uh, and Paul tweaked our offer, the government's offer, not our offer, um, and sweetened it with a bit of tax uh, sweetening as well. Yeah and uh, we came out on top. But it was interesting because at the, at the, when that, the weekend that happened, uh, David Murray, um, John, Ralph and I, and we were the sort of team on this privatisation, were in Melbourne. We had had long discussions with um, bank officials and, and um, departmental people. And I can remember on a... On a Sunday, I think it was, yes it was, we said to their team, look, our office on the table till lunchtime today. And otherwise it's off the table. It was accepted. 